kitchen area your bathrooms so about halfway through i was i was honestly done i don't know how people do these big ass buildings and they can spend up to like five hours doing it and some of it's really repetitive i'm like oh my god that's crazy but i stuck it through because i wanted to see how this looked in the end and i'm really glad on how it turned out um the little bit down below that i just turned yellow that is the reception area which i also had a little cafe in as you'll see later on I uh, decided that all of them would have a little kitchen area and they would all have their own bathrooms. However, some of them are smaller than the others and some of them are bigger depending on the room uh, because all rooms are not equal when you go to a hotel. Sometimes you gotta pay more, sometimes you gotta pay less for better rooms. And I wanted this to kind of be the same. So no room is the same and my top rooms are smaller than my bottom rooms to um, make sure we could fit in that decking I didn't want to have it coming out on top of the bottom layers of the houses I guess or rooms I mean so I stuck with going another decking with smaller rooms and I really enjoyed how it turned out um <laughs> I feel like I just had a lot of conversation right there in three minutes and that was crazy but I also know that for some people watching my my videos it's going to be really frustrating because it's not always equal it's not even i sometimes get annoyed when i realize that my houses aren't even windows and stuff like that however this is my reception area and i really like how this turned out i think it really kind of made it more hotel roomy like by adding this feature which i mean you're probably going to add it if you build one yourself but you know it just wasn't something i would generally think of <laughs> I probably shouldn't admit that, but yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. I kind of just rambled then. So we're up to the part where I decided to add in some cars to make it look like it was even. I was going to add in a van, and then I realized none of these rooms are really going to have it so that you could have like a van full of kids join in. I believe some rooms do have a a like double and then a single some of them actually have two singles some of them have two doubles so I really had fun kind of going through and creating these different hotel rooms I'm not it did get rough it did get rough and you'll see why I eventually tried to do one thing at a time and just continuously for this room here you'll see that I did it step by step because I considered maybe cutting it out and then you guys wouldn't have to watch me decorate like 10 rooms however then i decided that all these rooms are kind of different so maybe i wouldn't cut it out i guess we'll just see if i can find like five more minutes of conversation um 
I will post screenshots after as well of the rooms, of the hotel done. So, I mean, if you want to skip ahead, I, I fully understand as well at this point. It's just decorating. Um, some of them actually even have lounges, which I was really proud of because all these rooms are really small. And there's one that actually has, like, literally just a toilet in the bathroom. And then you have to go out and wash your hands in the kitchen and stuff like that. And it's it's not really a it's not that good to be honest it's, it would be like that hotel that you pay like 50 bucks to go stay in and it's a little bit it's a little bit suspicious like uh, don't know if you want to stay here might end up murdered one of those kind of looking rooms so it was, it was kind of cool to see and this is going to be uploaded to my um my ea there we are my ea uh, community page so if you want to go follow me on there it is airy fairy with two eyes on airy i will also link it down below or at least write it down so you guys can see it down below this room was really cool um because you could kind of have i mean the room i did just before as well also had like a little section for a kid to stay in and then like the parents had their bed so that you could actually watch tv on so i kind of like this some of the um some of the TVs don't make sense on where they are, and I mean, I've been to hotels where sometimes they don't make sense either, so I figured that this was just like a good kind of way to kind of have it as well, you know? Some of them are just on a wall randomly, but not entirely where the where you'd need it, and it's it really does kind of go between like a good hotel and like a shabby hotel, I'm not going to lie depending on how much you're willing to pay per room. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what to talk about. And I feel like that's really awkward to admit. But I feel like a lot of... Because I, I also watch a lot of videos. I feel like a lot of them do ramble. So, I mean, I, I guess it's just time for me to ramble a little bit. Um, this one in particular kind of looks a bit weird. We did put that lounge in, so it was there, but... At the same time, it was just kind of like a odd sitting to have your bed, your couch, and then a TV right there. But, like I said, some of these are really shabby looking. I'm thinking that we do the smaller bathroom soon. And I don't think it's this one. It was really like a one kind of... Like, you would only want to stay there one night. It's a small bed. It's a small bathroom. The kitchen area is so small. I also eventually went back on some of them and had to take out a few of their beds or make them differently to add in kitchen areas. I contemplated doing like a downstairs kitchen so it was like more of a community kitchen but then I realized I didn't actually know where I would place it. The section I did this on is not that big, and I did that for a reason. I was challenging myself to see how many rooms I could put in this small section. I didn't... I've been slowly going through the um, town where it's all blank. I've completely forgotten the name of it, and trying to fill that up. And we're actually really close to having it filled up, so if you have any suggestions on what I should make, uh, maybe like a gym or something, let me know, and we will try that. Um, next time just leave me like leave me a comment on what you'd like to see me build I also feel like this build I said last week or I might have said last week that I felt like a lot of my buildings look the same and I really feel like this building is so different and so I really like that here's the reception area we've added in a cafe because I figured you know in the mornings people are like I want my coffee and some of these rooms do not have coffees but um yeah, I think if I could change this, I'd probably add a pool around the back. Um, and that would probably be the only thing I would add to this. Because otherwise, I think it just turned out like a really nice hotel. Um, and I had to make sure that I added some lights at night. Because a lot of people do rock up to hotels in the middle of the night. And I was like, oh damn. <laughs> so I, I had to be really like thinking here. And I mean, I normally think about my my areas but I was just a little bit more concerned with this one you show up at night you couldn't see anything no one's gonna want to come into this hotel 
but uh, this is basically my build. I will be leaving some screenshots afterwards so you guys can kind of have a look at how it turned out. Upvote if you think it's cool, downvote if you think it's lame. Let me know what you think and hopefully you guys have a great week. I will be doing some more videos. Um, this week will include a glass house and then something happened to my sim so we had to build a family house and that will be more on the next video so thank you so much for watching and here are the screenshots.